welcome back to my channel today I will be doing a contouring and highlighting video especially for beginners so let's get this video started I have done my foundation eyeshadow eyebrows and lips but I haven't highlighted or contoured yet I'm going to be using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer as a highlighter under my eyes and it's in the shade NC30. I'm going to take one pump of this concealer on my hand and I'm going to be using a concealer brush by Zoeva to apply it under my eyes. I'm going to make small triangles under the eyes to highlight those areas on the both sides. And it's always a good idea to use a concealer that's two or three shades lighter than your skin tone for highlighting. Doing the same thing on the other eye and I'm making sure that my triangle doesn't exceed where my eye ends. And I'm just taking the other line just below my nostrils so you can see how it looks. And now I look like a total alien. Hope you like it. <laughs> Now I'm moving on to the chin, just a little bit on the chin using the same concealer brush and then the forehead. I make a little Y sort of shape on the forehead and I do take it down to the bridge of my nose as well to highlight but I do not use a strong highlight on in these areas because I like them to be a bit more subtle. Now I'm going to be using my wet beauty sponge from Real Techniques and I'm going to pat the concealer down gently trying not to drag too much but blending at the same time i'm blending everything out to get a nice flawless finish and as you can see it does take a bit of time so i thought of forwarding this so you don't get bored but the main purpose of highlighting is to bring your best features forward and make you look a bit more defined my highlighting is complete and as you can see it has already brought a lot of dimension to my face. Now I'm going to be using the LA Girl concealer in the shade Toast to contour my face. The best way to find the area to contour is place one finger on top of the ear and the other finger at the corner of your mouth and you should follow the line towards the corner of your mouth and that is the area you should be contouring and you don't want to move the color any further in your face than the place where your eyeballs are. Let me move my hair to the side and let's begin contouring. So first I'm going to start from the top of the ear as I mentioned earlier and I'm going to follow that line towards the corner of my mouth just like this making sure that I don't exceed the part where the cheeks meet my eyeballs. Same on the other side. Again, going in from the top, following the line towards the corner of my mouth. And that's it. We're done guys. I think we've done it pretty well. And let's start contouring the forehead. I do have a big forehead so I'm contouring it but you can totally skip this step if you've got a small forehead and uh, you can skip this step as well if you haven't got a big temple like me. Uh, this is totally skippable. You can just move on to the next step. Again I'm using my damp beauty sponge to blend all the products in and I'm pushing it towards my hairline. Instead of pushing it towards my eyebrows I'm trying to push it in against my hairline so it looks very natural and flawless and it doesn't look as if we've got it all over our forehead so as you can see I'm blending it towards my hairline and we just need to keep going and blending it now I'm moving on to the cheeks and I'm pressing the product rather than dragging it anywhere else so try and press the product into your cheek and gently blending it. And you just need to keep blending to get that flawless finish. I am fast forwarding this part 
Um, I wanted to show you how I blend my contour but I didn't want to bore you at the same time and hopefully this helps. As you can see I'm just using dabbing motions to contour my cheeks and just need to keep on doing this guys and I promise you will get flawless results. Now the cheeks and forehead has been contoured and let's move on to the jawline and it's pretty simple guys you just need to follow the line from the bottom of your ears towards the jaw and that's all. Let's start contouring the chin area guys and we have to start below the ears and follow the jaw line. You can use dots, I'm just using straight lines. You can do whatever you like and even if you make a mistake it's okay, it's very easy to rectify. Same on the other side below the ears and I'm just going to join the two lines together and that's how we do it. And I promise you, if you've got any double chin, this will totally eliminate it. And this will make your chin look super duper chiseled. Now it's time to blend our contour. So let's start blending. And I'm going to blend it this time towards my neck. So that I have a super defined chin. Just keep dabbing and pressing. And do it towards the neck. So you have a super chiseled neckline and a jawline. Blending is the key to a flawless contour. Now as you can see the blending is done and my jawline looks super defined and I'm very happy with it. Now I'm going to use a matte highlighting powder from my Smashbox palette and I'm going to use a setting brush for this and I'm going to set all the areas we have highlighted like under the eyes, the chin area and the forehead and it's also a good idea to clear our contour using this powder so it gives a bit more chiseled look to set the contour i'm using a contour brush from real technique and using a contour powder from the smashbox palette again and i'm going to set the areas that we have contoured like the cheeks and the forehead and the jawline and this will help your makeup last a lot longer and I would highly recommend doing this. I'm going to take a crease brush from Zoeva and use the same contour powder to begin contouring my nose and what I do is I start from the beginning of my eyebrows and draw a straight line towards the end of my nose on both sides and I make sure that I put a little bit more contour powder at the tip of the nose so it gives a nice lifted appearance and I like blending it with my fingers I think it gives a very soft and natural finish and nose contouring is done. Taking a soft pink blush from this palette I'm going to sweep it across the apples of my cheeks to give a nice flush of color and I love this palette it has everything. Highlighting is my favorite part and I'm going to be using Makeup Revolution highlighting palette and the brush I'm using is a Real Techniques fan brush and I'm going to highlight only the high points of my cheeks, my temples and forehead and I love using this brush as well for highlighting. Same on the other side, I'm highlighting the high points of my cheeks and the temples and the forehead. Now let's get in with a little bit of highlight on our nose. Yes, I love doing that. And our makeup look is now complete. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. All the products that I've used will be listed in the description box down below. Please do like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time. Love you all. Bye.